Hey guys, let's just address the elephant in the room. Um, who gets a um, cold sore in the summer? Yeah, just me, right? <laughs> Let me know if I'm alone. Let me know if you get a cold sore in the, in the summer too. I, I don't know what happened, honestly. Um, yeah. I have a sample size of these Makeup Forever powder foundation um, and it's in Y22S. Um, I got it from Sephora, so I'm just gonna uh, buff it in into this lid of um, a Lima Pure one, just to make it easy, because of course I can't really stick it in here, my brush. Um, and I'm gonna use these BK Beauty 105. It's kind of like a chubby uh, powder foundation, powder brush. So uh, the sun is going in and out of the, of the clouds, so it's gonna be like a little weird. Hopefully it's not too much. Um, let's see how this does. Oh, and also I uh, already applied these. Um, Centella Air Fit Sun Cream Plus from Madagascar 1004. Um, like a long name. But yeah, I already applied that. It's been at least 20 minutes since I applied it, so. Uh, it's already set and all that. So let's see how this powder foundation does. Um, it's said to be like really, really good. So I'm really curious because I already have the foundation that I really like, but you know, always in the look for the perfect, perfect one. So let's see. I usually start in the middle of my face, whether it is the nose or the side of my cheeks and my fore, my, um, chin here because I have the most discoloration there and then I just um go around too but I need a mirror for that let's see all right much better all right um yeah it's actually not bad but I do need more well luckily the lady there gave me plenty I think yeah and so, cause the brush really kind of soaks on a bunch. I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, let's go around here. You see, I have a bunch of discoloration, especially on my um, jawline from pimples and such, like hormonal pimple. Fun, fun, fun. <laughs> Not. Um, and then I'm just gonna go with the same brush. Um, and of course the same powder foundation underneath my eyes like I do with all of the powder foundations when I use powder foundations. Um, so my eye underline, under eyes and let's see how it does with one of them. What do we think? I don't like the hair. Okay, there we go, much better. <laughs> all right, um, what do you think about the uh, under eye? What do we think about the under eye? Definitely better. Doesn't seem like it is really um, full blown, but I'm not really expecting it's powder foundations, not a concealer. Though some powder foundations are so high coverage that um, work as concealer as well. So I do like to pinch my brush as I go under uh, on my under eye, uh, just to kind of fit in there better. And also because it offers much more coverage. So, so far, it's actually really nice. I'm not seeing any heaviness. Um, I did have to use a bunch. Now, I don't know how that would be compared to, you know, um, swirling it in the actual uh, pan, but um, I definitely have been using quite a bit to put in there. Now, I guess that's irrelevant as well because um, each of us use different um, amounts and also face-wise, if you have a bigger face, of course, you're going to use more. If you have a smaller face, you're going to use less, but also is your preference, you know, what you prefer to do. So this is what it looks like. Um, let me uh, give you a closer look. It looks really nice, actually, you guys. Doesn't have too, too much coverage though. Um, I was expecting a little more coverage from it. Uh, okay, let's try to build it up a bit. 
and see if it does. Ooh, 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 I put a little too much, or like, like a lot too much. It just came off. Okay, much better. All right. Swirl, swirl, swirl. Let's see. Especially here, my um, A-line skirt. Now I have dry skin looks like here. Yeah, I know, I because I had a pimple <laughs> out of all places there. And uh, now it's kind of, it went away, but of course the skin is traumatized. All right. Um, what about here, pimples? I don't know, man, it doesn't really, doesn't really offer a lot of coverage. I mean, it doesn't really, as much as I put in for uh, layering, it doesn't really feel like it's covering good. And I can see my, um, my sunspots on the sides. I did better on the pimples here. Not too, too good, but still better. So, Anyways, this is kind of like what it looks like with it layered. I don't think I can build it up anymore. It doesn't seem like, and I don't want it to look like heavy and chalky in that. So this is what it looks like. Um, it looks actually really nice, other than the fact that I can't really build it up where I want it to, but um, especially around my nose where I'm like really red and the uh, high pot parts. <laughs> high parts of my cheeks where there's like some sun damage there but uh the color match is really nice so i'm gonna go ahead and do my full face of makeup and then i'll come back and i'll show you how it actually looks with it together and then uh we'll take it from there so cotala da casa nu se potrivește cu cea din târg that's Romanian for pretty much uh, whatever you plan, um, doesn't mean it's gonna happen. So uh, <laughs> two hours later and nothing else went on because I had to go take the little one to drum lessons and uh, the girls needed help. So that's how I went. So, um, but let's look and see how it actually looks after the two hours with nothing else on not that i would have happened anything really because i would have just put eyes and um well eyeshadow mascara and then the um something in my cheeks which would have not altered at all like in the middle of my face or anything else like that so um i can tell you that it's quite shiny um it does look oily too uh, especially um T-zone, so my nose, chin, chin, um, forehead. So let's look, um, I'm gonna show you here some like little things to get it. I wore glasses on the way there and back. It's about a 20 minute ride. So um, you can see the uh, little demarcations, the little lines from the um, glasses. Um, it also, what's there? I don't know. Okay, so, um, it kind of from the glasses i must i um, can only assume um you can see like a little bunching over here um it also kind of gathered in the crevices of my nose i will take a um blotting paper and kind of oops, show you but it's quite oily actually so it's not uh not very good in heat all right, let's see. And that's just two hours in, like literally two hours in. Two hours and five minutes in. So you can tell it's really oily um, everywhere pretty much. Even the, the sides, because I have nothing, but it looks like I have a very beaming uh, highlight over there in my cheeks, but I don't. And uh, um, uh, the sunscreen I put, it's really not um very radiant so i'm gonna go ahead and blot everywhere because i do need to do that um let's see hmm. i am blotting with just blotting paper it's all oily but um you can tell that i'm um, getting a little pink it, it some of the coverage is coming off with this blotting paper which should not really it just tells you that it's really not long wearing 
man and it's really not that hot outside um it's actually more warm in this room as i'm moving around and such but um it's um it's like i think it's like lower 80s right now uh, i don't even i'm not even sure if it hit hit 80s yet it's supposed to by the end of the day but you know how it goes in the afternoon it's, it's later it's um hotter so it's not even 12 o'clock but anyways um blatted blatted looks okay um, I still have to go around and kind of smooth out those lines, of course. My hands are clean. Don't touch your head, your face with your hands if your hands are not clean, guys. I still gather there. That's all I need to do it with my hand. But definitely coverage, um, it's not much left. It wasn't really too much to start with, actually. But yeah i mean it's it's kind of uniform it's really not uh other than in the 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 middle of my face the around the nose is where it's you can see the most uh, redness well that's where i have the most redness anyway so it's it's poking through not too bad but still enough to where i know it's, it wasn't like i said it wasn't too much to start with but yeah this is what it's like two hours in which i'm really not happy with how it wore for two hours and with it being not that hot outside but i'm gonna now go ahead and do the rest of my face and then um i'll see you back here hmm so i was gonna do my eyeshadow but i wanted to show you how it kind of gathered in my eyes yeah so i have to smooth that out okay carry on So this is how it looks with everything on. Um, it actually looks nice. It looks complete now that I put everything else, of course. Um, it looked nice before too, but now it's complete. So um, the powder acted really nice with everything. Uh, everything that I moved on top of it, um, it didn't really smudge or peel or anything. Um, it acted really nice. So there's no issues there. Um, what is that? My skin, I guess. So um, under eyes, remember I put it there too, it started to like um, crease, like where, where I'm like squinting and all that. So it's definitely squinty. I'm just gonna take the brush that I used and just gonna try to smooth that out. Let's see how that does. Yeah, much better. I don't know if you can tell the difference from here to here. But it's definitely better. There's like little fine lines that, you know, like when you're moving, um, automatically your um, product uh, moves. So uh, sometimes it settles, sometimes it doesn't. Same here, a little more here than on the other side. So I didn't put any product in, it's just my brush that I used just to make sure that it, um, it kind of smooths out those little um, settlements. But yeah, um, I guess I'll just um, let you know how everything goes in a check in and maybe two to three more hours, um, probably before we go to the movies, because we're gonna go to the movies, we're gonna see the minions, the new minions. So um, yeah, I'll let you know how it goes like after that, no, before that. Yeah, guys, um, this is what it looks like. I don't think it's gonna last the whole day, judging from the two hours of um, wear, that it really didn't wear that good. Hey guys, three hours since the last check-in. I'm really in a rush because we gotta go to the movies, but uh, I wanted to check in and actually show you how it actually looks um, since uh, we did the last check-in. A um, little bit of redness here. I think it's just um, me kind of messing up with my skin, but um, it has gotten oilier since, since I blotted, um, shiny, shiny, and the middle part of my face of course mainly uh there i put no highlight and my um nothing that i put on my skin had any highlight type so the bronzer and the blush were actually matte so all of this here is um is the foundation so um yeah it's definitely very shiny very oily i will take um a piece of blotting paper yeah you can tell it's just it's quite oily 
Uh, and this is like three hours in since I already blotted, you know, last time. And uh, it's just not, it's not holding up good. And I really haven't done anything much um, just from here to there and all that, but not nothing really that would cause me to sweat or get all like oily and such. So yeah, uh, the coverage is also quite gone, especially in my T-zone, um, chin, nose area and forehead as well um yeah it's not it's not looking really good it's not looking good um i've lost all that coverage and that's like what five hours since i put it on so yeah i don't i'm not liking what it's doing um but yeah this is five hours in you guys uh i'll probably do it on another check in tonight before um i wash it off and such but um this is how we're looking now i'm kind of disappointed i was kind of expecting more from makeup forever but oh well such is life